Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of Bus World and I still maintain that this is the most stressful bus driving game out there. In the last episode we completed Southern China, everything is to gold standard and I'm really glad to see the back of Southern China. Uh, nothing personal against the, uh, the Chinese there, but there's just a few too many, you know, tornadoes and twisters and tsunamis. It's just a little bit stressful for my liking. So of course let's go somewhere where is uh, where there's renowned for not being any stress at all. Chernobyl. Mmm, scary. Yeah, Chernobyl I've not really been looking forward to. That's probably why I did uh, the southern China scenario first. I find this quite an intimidating place in real life. On this we've got uh, 11 scenarios. Uh, we've already done the Pripyat evacuation, which is 35 hours after the explosion. This one today, Labor Day at the nuclear power plant. Your task is to deliver the workers to the power plant. Okay, uh, that seems fairly uh, fairly easy and of course uh, there you go that's just a little bit about the radioactive explosion equivalent to 500 nuclear bombs uh, that were dropped on Japan so that really is quite a lot of uh, radiation there so yeah I think uh, oh, hang on, April the 19th, one week before the disaster. Right, well, I'm hoping this is going to be fairly chilled out. Let's uh, let's see what we've got. So we're in the... Uh, hang on. There we go, right. Yep, lovely. We're in this yellow thing. Oh, it's a beautiful bus, isn't it? Look at that. We'll, uh, we'll have a screenshot, first of all, kick things off. It's not a very healthy sounding bus, is it? Right, off we go. Right, there we Oh, hang on, we're, we're completely separate. I didn't realise that. Yeah. Oh, well, who checks the tickets? Why does the bus sound so knackered? I don't know. It really does sound not happy, doesn't it? Right, we're having another screenshot of that now that them lot are not in the way. Right, off we go. Full steam ahead. Yeah, this should be nice and straightforward because uh, obviously there's been no explosion. It's a nice easy mission to get us started with. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm happy about that. It's Yeah, everything seems fairly chilled out so far. Sounds a bit like a Dennis Dart, doesn't it, this thing? Oh, this chap needs to walk a bit quicker. He's gliding. He must have uh, heelys on. Way round the corner. Running a red light. Oh, I'm not having that. We're having a perfect. We're restarting. Running a red light. Oh, yeah, okay, maybe there was a red light. Did I just not see that at all? That's, uh, yeah, that's not great. We're not off to a great start in Chernobyl, are we? We're having goals. Telling you that now. I'm not losing points for, uh, yeah, one week before the disaster. I'm not losing points for something so ridiculous as running a red light. There we go. Everybody on. We're actually on a notepad there. Let's have a look. Have we? Uh, yeah, everybody's on. Of course, for those of you that haven't watched Bus World before, I really do recommend that you go back and watch some of the other... Uh, other videos we've done on Bus World. It's not a bus simulator, it's not designed to be a bus simulator. Uh, it's more of a game, there's little missions to play through. There is a free play mode if you just want to drive about, uh, which is quite nice actually. But yeah, uh, there have been quite a few comments saying, oh well I still think OMSI is better, of which case I say, of course it is, OMSI is, uh, is trying to be a bus simulator. This is not, so uh, yeah, give it a try, because it really is pretty good, uh, considering uh, well, it's, it's definitely the scariest bus simulator, or bus game, sorry. I'm saying simulator now, aren't I? I'm just as bad as everybody else. Uh, yeah, it's one of the scariest bus games available. I'm hoping that we don't have any, you know those bumpy roads that nearly wrote your bus off in southern China? I'm hoping that here, these roads are alright. Fingers crossed. Doesn't seem that busy, really, does it? In uh, where are we? Are we in Pripyat now? I think, yeah, because this is the road we drove down, isn't it? Last time. You'd imagine at like seven o'clock in the morning, five past seven, there'd be a little bit more hustle and bustle. A 
Of course, it has just been announced as well that the new map will be Iceland, which is really exciting. Um, I don't know if there's just the two maps, to be honest with you. Uh, but yeah, Iceland is, uh, is coming. I've been to Iceland. It's an absolutely beautiful country. So yeah, I'm really excited to see it in Bus World. I'm assuming there'll be natural disasters like earthquakes. Why is it not turning? No! I honestly thought for a second there he was going to walk out in front. It seems that this is where we're stopping. They don't seem that bothered about... Uh, oh, hang on, who have we got? We've got footballers and, uh, and generals. Other people that know a lot more about the army than me. Uh, oh, hang on. And they can tell me that that is not a general. Also, this, this wheel... Does not seem to... The turning circle of the bus does not reflect that of the wheel. <laughs> oh, we can... Oh, we can have the window up and down. That's cute. Come on, let me in. Oh! Marvellous. Yeah, we're not getting that gold medal, are we? Yeah, I'm not restarting again. We'll just play it through. I'll do it in my own time. But oh, where's he going? Hang on, we got a green and now everyone else is going. This seems a bit unfair. What am I doing here? Am I just letting you go yet? Right, I see the way it is, I think. So it's like a roundabout where just everyone has authority to go. I've got you. I think we'll probably still get a silver, won't we? We are running a little bit early. Do we get extra points for being early, or do we get told off for being early? Where are we going? Back round to the right now? Hurtling back down the main road. Seems quite a small map. I don't know if, if you press M, that would suggest the map. Oh right, okay, so there's really not much up here anyway. Got to go all the way back down here now. Excellent. And then there's a couple of windy bits there. Uh, where are we going now? So we're going to Lesnoy. Stella. Forest near plant. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> Generic forest near plant. Right, okay. Don't knock the mouse, Joe. This is how you have accidents with cars in front. Oh, they like the abrupt braking, don't they? Yeah, look at that. No wonder I can't stop. They slam on so much. That's maybe something that, uh, that the chaps here need to work on. Is, uh, you know, not quite slamming on quite so much. Because obviously if they slam on like that, you haven't got a cat and else chance of uh, a stopping. As I showed earlier. I don't think we did go down that road, did we? Did we go down that road? I don't know, I'm sort of lost as to where we are now. In the first mission. Give the police officer a little toot too. Is he chasing us? That bus driver's behaving very suspect. He seems happy in his place of employment. I'll soon sort that out. Perhaps we're not running as early as I suspected. It's because as soon as you stop, it moves on to the next stop, doesn't it? Oh no, it's... Uh, right, okay, we've got a gradient. I thought it was the bumpy road sign. Of course it's not, it's a gradient. We can do this. I love how the... Uh, the bus is so simple inside. The timekeeping device is just a watch next to the uh, a digital watch next to the timetable. That's brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. I can't see anything wrong with that. 
Not at all. Ooh, going down it, we'll get up some, to some speed now. Oh, I've noticed the road surface has changed there a little bit. Does this mean that we're going to get bumpy roads? This bus really doesn't handle as well as uh, as previous buses. I mean, that is full lock. It just doesn't seem to want to turn. Right, hang on. I'm, ass I'm assuming we have to look left and right here. I can't see anything coming down there, so we'll set off. Oh, you can't moan because we've gone over a level crossing. That's to be expected. Hang on. Forest near plant. I didn't think it quite literally was a forest. But it appears it is. I don't know quite how realistic this map is of, uh, of Chernobyl. Like this. Oh, don't run over the animals. Hell, how on earth could I run them over? The bus would come off worse than they would. These passengers are very demanding, aren't they? It's a bit of an odd bus route, it has to be said. Go up here. Oh wow, and as if by magic there's a little bus stop down here. Brilliant. Right, okay. Yeah, I was going to say, why couldn't we come up the bigger road and do a U-turn there, but we wouldn't have got round with we'll the turning circle on this thing. Oh, there we go, brakes on. Check what's going on in here. There's a lot of executives getting on. Right, round we go. Are we, uh, am I getting the next stop on a map? Oh, hang on. I cannot believe that this bus does not turn better than this. There we go, back into drive. What a ridiculous bus stop. Might actually, by the time we've done that, be quicker to have just driven forwards and round. Oh, is it actually... It is actually leaving. Look at that. It's leaving tyre tracks. That is brilliant. So when I go to the right and the left here, it's going to leave those. That is fantastic. I love that feature. Hang on. Let's have a let's have a photo like that. A little bit of a woodland. Oh, smashing. Do you know what? Already, I love this map more than the uh, the South China. There's a few more cars about than on the South China one. That is a problem. You can see that causing us issues going forward. Thud. As we go over the, uh, the the level crossing in the road. It's not a level crossing at all. The, the planks of wood that someone carelessly left on this dirt track. Great little horn, isn't it? Should we go this way? I know we... Uh, we went the other way last time. I'm sure we went the wrong way around. Uh oh. Thought we were going over for a second. Blow me number. Come on, round we go. Turning circle on this bus is garbage. Do we get, uh, I don't know if we get trains down there, it'll be interesting to see. Oh, mind the army wagon. 
Next stop is Stella. Not Stella Artois, I imagine. Doors open. Okay, we're still on the move, but it doesn't really matter, does it? Just zoom in. Those mirrors are pathetically small. Oh no! I've just realised what we have to do at the end of this road. We have to make a very tight turn. Nobody coming? Nope, that'll do. Oh, we can get his foot down down here then. What have we got next? Forest near plant again. It's a good job this bus doesn't have announcements on. The next stop is forest near plant. Well, which one? There's several forest near plants. They could do with different names, couldn't they? This could be forest really near the plant, and the other one could be forest not quite as near the plant. There you go, and then you'd easily know what was what. Right, come on everybody, on you get. Nobody's got off yet, are you all going to the uh, to the power plant? Running the red light doesn't seem so bad compared to me crashing into that flipping van earlier. Do you know? You try and do things properly and this is what happens. Oh no, hang on, we're, we're stopping at the CHMPP, which I imagine to be the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. Ooh, this is... I'm not happy about this. So, let's have a look. Seems a bit odd that there's, like, chaps in, in sort of CCCP. Obviously, that's something to do with... Well, I don't know. They look like they're off to play some sort of sport. Maybe basketball? It just strikes me a bit odd that we're off to the nuclear power plant to play basketball. Or maybe there's those chaps, they're those chaps that wear the special uh, hazmat gear. Maybe they're just going in their own clothes. They all have a big love of basketball. You just never know, do you? It's just really weird to think that like all these people just lived and worked here and, and, and it was all fine. And nobody sort of batted an eyelid and then all of a sudden that happened. It's frightening, really, isn't it? Really frightening. All our uh, technological advances, sorry. All our technological advances as humankind are, uh, are very exciting, but also flipping heck. It's, uh, it's a bit frightening when it all goes wrong, isn't it? Are we going for the overtake? No, do you know what? We'll be good. We'll be good. We'll stay behind this chap. We're already running a little bit early anyway. Don't suppose it matters. I'm just hoping he doesn't anchor on. I would say we're following this chap at a safe distance, but obviously if he anchors on, it could be a problem. Flipping neck, here it is. God, even putting the handbrake on this bus does absolutely nothing. And we don't have to, like, flee any sort of critical invasions or anything. You know, like the tsunami one where you had to run away. Like, you have to run away from the atomic blast. I have a feeling that might be a mission in here. And I'm not looking forward to it in this bus. I mean, does anyone look forward to an atomic blast? No, don't be stupid. But, uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to it in... Uh, in this bus because it's chronically slow at least the stuff in southern China was uh, reasonably, we're going to say vaguely reasonably nippy whereas this just isn't, it's so sluggish 
I do like the little details there, have, like the rust on the ceiling. That's brilliant. They really have paid quite a bit of attention to detail with this in some little areas you just wouldn't expect the attention to detail to be. Right, where am I stopping here? Am I, am I stopping there? I don't know. I have a feeling I've gone in the wrong way around here. That'll do. I'll, I'll just drop them off in the middle of the road. That's perfectly fine. This was just work for everybody, arriving on the bus. Just, you know, going and pottering about and uh, coming home. Little did they know that in a week's time, like, all their lives were about to completely change. We'll just do a, uh, a Louis there. And keep going. Yeah, I, I want to be as far away from this place as possible. And like I say, I have a horrible feeling that when the disaster does happen, we're going to be expected to do something as uh, as bus drivers. Oh, I'm not looking forward to it. Oh, no, no, stop, 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 stop. That is full braking. It just doesn't stop. It does what it wants. Really quite a difficult bus to drive, this one. Hoping in the next mission we uh, we get to drive something else. Come on, bus. There we go. Stuck behind another jeep again. How far away is Quant? What is Quant? Does anyone know? I mean, I'm sure I'll know when we get there, because there must be something. Maybe it's like the reception desk. We dropped everybody off at the workers' entrance there, and then Quant is, uh, maybe it's quantum mechanics? I, don't, I have no idea. It's probably quite straightforward, actually. Other than a small collision with the car, I think we've done really well here. I'm quite proud of ourselves. Although I think I'm getting a little bit bored of sitting behind this chap, so we're going to go for the overtake. This bus is so slow. This bus is so slow. Come on, go, go. I'm hoping nobody appears. Just nip back in there. Done elegantly. I'm sure you'll agree. Round we go. Quant. Don't know. Like quantum reactor, maybe? Maybe that's where we are, yeah. I just... I just don't like being here. I don't like being here at all. It just has a really eerie feel to it. I don't know if they've done it deliberately with the weather. It's like such a, a nice day, but at the same time, you just kind of know what went on here. Just, no, not for me. Not for me at all. There we go, that's where we've dropped everybody off. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, silver medal, never mind. If we hadn't have had that crash, that would have been absolutely brilliant. Well, we'll have a look at what the... Ah, uh, oh, we did, we got a bit of experience, and we've unlocked that. Okay, right, okay. So we've unlocked another mission uh, to Yanov Station and back. Today is a very hot spring day. You need to drive along the route from Pripyat Bus Station to Yanov Station and back. The problem is that the engine in your bus is prone to overheating. Uh, in order for the engine not to break down, turn it off on the move occasionally 
and go freewheeling. Ah, it's another freewheeling mission. Splendid. Right, well, we're going to pick that up next time because we're, we're sort of running out of time for today. I know it's a little bit of a shorter one than usual. But, uh, but hey-ho, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please do click the like button. Always appreciate it by myself. And, of course, do consider subscribing if you haven't already so you never miss out on any Bus World content. Other than that, as I say, thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you all next time. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.